Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna be doing a clean and decorate my house with me, but I did get sick of my fall decor pretty quickly. So I did keep my Christmas decorations minimal for the time being, and I might bring out some more stuff as Christmas gets closer, but I did want to go ahead and film this for you guys, and I am so excited because today's video is also in collaboration with one of my really great YouTube mom friends. Her name is Megan from Life as Megan, and I love this girl. She is awesome. She is a stay-at-home mom to two little girls named Kinsley and Sawyer. She does lifestyle, motherhood, and a ton of cleaning motivation videos for you guys. So if you need some intense cleaning motivation, go check out her channel. She is seriously such an incredible human being, and I am so blessed to have her as a friend in my life. Megan is also going to be decorating her house for Christmas, so I'm going to leave all of her links in the description box below. So before I even start decorating, Decorating. I like to pull out all of the things that I think I'm going to be decorating with out of the bins and lay them all out so that I can see everything and figure out where I want to put them. And before I get started with decorating, I did still have a few fall decorations out in my living room. So I'm going to quickly take down the rest of the fall decor and then clean all of the surfaces in the living room. So now I'm gonna begin the decorating in the living room with this is what I call my entryway table. I know it's not like an actual entryway table, but it's the only place in my house that allows for one. So that is what I'm calling it. And I already had a pretty good vision of what I wanted everything to look like. So I didn't really have to spend a ton of time adjusting things. I was really sticking to minimal Christmas decor, but still using the traditional greens and reds without overdoing it. So very specific, but I think I achieved the job. And if you guys want me to do a Christmas home tour please let me know that way i can let you guys know where everything is from and of course if you have any questions about where something is from just ask me in the comment section and i will definitely answer for you so moving on to my favorite part the tv stand and this is what acts as our mantle because unfortunately in this house we do not have a fireplace and we had a fireplace at the old house we used to rent in and I miss it so much. But for the time being, this is my mantle, you guys. And I love the way that it turned out. I was really trying to go for those lush greens with little hints of red. And I really wanted this big sign to kind of fill the space that I have going on here. And if you had watched my Hobby Lobby shop with me, there was a Merry Christmas sign that I was going to get, but I saw this one at Walmart and I just loved how simple and beautiful it was. And it was only like $12. So that is a steal. I am just obsessed with how this turned out. So lastly, in the living room, I'm just going to make our couch, and I had purchased these Buffalo Check pillow covers off of Amazon, and I love them. They're really great quality. They're really thick. They don't feel cheap. I know that they're not going to rip or anything, and I had taken a couple pillows from my kids' rooms that they had just kind of lying on the floor, and I stuffed them in there, and I really love how it looks on my couch. Thank you. 
Moving into the kitchen, this is something new that I have done. I've never decorated my kitchen table and I got these placemats off Amazon. Again, love them. They came in a pack of six and I just think that they look so cute on this kitchen table and I'm definitely gonna buy placemats for like every season. And then I also decided to do a centerpiece as well. I picked up this little plate from Walmart for like six bucks and a couple of little picks of greenery that I had from last year and this candle as well. And I just kind of threw this thing together. I know it's not the cutest thing ever, but I like how simple it is. I didn't want anything too crazy. And I just love how the kitchen table looks. It is so cute. So now I'm just gonna quickly wipe down all of the countertops in the kitchen. Like I had said, all of the Christmas decor had brought a bunch of dirt and junk with it. And then I am keeping my kitchen very, very simple. You will see I'm just putting a little tree and a sign in the corner and then some little kitchen towels. I am one of those people when there is too much stuff on my countertops, I get some extreme anxiety about it. The more decor that I have in my kitchen, the more stressed I feel. So I really tried to keep it simple this year, but I still wanted little pops of Christmas. And then the last thing that I'm gonna be doing is the stair rail. That is one thing that I always loved about Christmas is my mom would always decorate our stairs and she would have like the big, beautiful greenery and she would do like little picks in it as well. And she was always just really great at decorating for holidays, still is. But that is what I remember about Christmas as a child is how my mom decorated the house and just the warmth that I felt. And I want to do the same for my kids. I didn't do any picks or anything crazy again I wanted to keep it very simple and these are pre-lit I just didn't plug them in at the time and I'm so excited for Christmas you guys I am ready Anyways, you guys, that is going to be it for this clean and decorate with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it inspired you or gave you some ideas for decor in your home. As always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos and I will see you all in my next one.